Hello, my name is Paul, one of the subject matter experts here at Chegg. Today we're going to learn about one of the fundamental aspects of the economy, productivity. Now, differences of living standards across the world are vast. For example, in the U.S., the average annual income for each individual was around $60,000, but in China, it's less than half of that at $17,000. That also implies that living standards across the world can vary significantly. Now, a substantial amount of research suggests that differences in living standards and income can be attributed to differences in productivity. Productivity is how many goods and services are produced from each unit of labor and time. In nations that enjoy a high standard of living, it's generally associated with high productivity, and conversely, nations that have a lower standard of living, it's attributed to a lower standard of productivity. Thus, it can be inferred that a higher productivity leads to a higher standard of living. Now, one of the causes for large or persistent inflation is the excess growth in the quantity of money. If the government prints too much money, then sellers may raise their prices for their goods and services to keep up with the influx of money, which lowers purchasing power over time, and subsequently the value of money. This phenomenon is known as inflation, the steady increase of prices. Over time, economic policies can push inflation and unemployment in different directions. Many economists believe that that happens because the amount of money circulating in the economy increases, and it leads to increased spending since each household feels more rich. With each increased spending, the demand of goods and services also rises, and as a result, firms try to increase their production, and this requires more workers. Thus, as inflation increases, unemployment rate can reduce. Thus, in the short term, the excess creation of money can increase inflation but decrease the unemployment rate. But over the long term, the excess printing of money can just lead to the increase of inflation without affecting the unemployment rate. In fact, if inflation gets too out of control, the unemployment rate might increase in general as firms tend to not hire with prices being so uncertain. Now, with this in mind, um, I hope you've learned a little bit about inflation and the excess creation of money today. If you want to discover more topics, please consider visiting Chegg, where you can visit additional topic videos, see example problems, or even speak to Chegg subject matter experts. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you at Chegg.